Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're staying safe and well at home. I know many of us are unable to get down to a gym and continue with our regular workouts during this strange time. So I put together five home workouts utilizing nothing but resistance bands and tubular bands, which if you have access to, great. If not, you can check them out on my site. I'll include a link on the description below. Now these are really great for a number of reasons. One, I've linked all of these tubular bands together with the handles, which give me a total of 110 pounds of resistance. And these resistance bands here, all in different colors, range from 35 up to 125 pounds resistance. So tons of different options and variations, as you'll see within this video. So today's workout is all about back and biceps. Five exercises for back, many of which you might perform in the gym within your normal routine, and three exercises for biceps. But before we start this main workout, let's first get started with an effective warm up to really mobilize the joints and get some blood into the muscles around the back and the arms. Let's take a look. So, the first thing I'm doing here is looping one of the thick resistance bands around the chin up bar and then passing the other end through that loop to securely lock it in place. Then placing both arms within the bands, taking an overhand grip, and then basically sitting down into a deep squat. Great stretch on the lats here. Focus on those deep breaths in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Second warm up movement, a great one for the back. This one, I really find it unsticks all of those muscles around the lats, around the shoulders. So I'm in a lunge position, stretching out the lat and a straight arm at the same time. About 20 seconds on each arm. This one, an elbow hook, great one for the shoulder. I also feel it around the chest and the back as well. What I'm doing is hooking the band around my elbow and then placing the back of my hand just on the small part of my back and slightly rotating away from my shoulder. So I'm increasing that stretch, that pull on the back. What's important with many of these stretches is that you find that point at tension where you start to feel the muscle pull, hold it there, take several deep breaths in, and as you start to relax, you kind of find you can ease into it a little bit more and that muscle starts to open out. Another great one for the chest and also the shoulders. Fully extended arm. You see I've got my hand within that loop rotated around to so my palm facing upwards and I'm just gripping lightly on the outside of that band. Again, turning away from it. So I have my right arm here and I'm slowly twisting around towards the left, increasing that stretch around that shoulder and chest area. This particular stretch is great, I find, for flexibility and just general mobility. Really, really feel it in the shoulder. So I've got the band hooked just below my elbow and then I'm sort of gripping around the band with my hand as well. And if you need to, take the free hand just to sort of mobilize and move that elbow around. Let's start to focus on the back here, just some very simple tubular band rows and sort of reverse chest flies as well. Great thing about this, the further I step back, the more resistance I feel in the back. So about three, four, five minutes here. Let's move on. So we start the first of our eight movements with the assisted chin up. The reason I'm doing this is to really control the rate of descent, the tempo of each repetition. I have the band hooked around one of my shins and I'm crossing my heels at the back to lock that in place. Great thing about this is I actually use this technique within my back workouts towards the end once I've depleted all of my energy and I can really focus on addressing the muscle being worked here rather than relying on my arms, shoulders and biceps in particular to assist me with this movement. So slow, controlled, focus on your breathing. Exercise two, tubular band row. Now, what you see here is I have all five of those bands attached to each handle. So this is about a, a total of 110 pounds resistance. Sit upright, full stretch in the arm. I'm driving the elbows back behind. And then, like I mentioned, because I have five of these bands, it's really easy to take one or two off and basically perform a strip set with the bands. So as I reach my point of failure, I can lessen the resistance by taking one or more bands off and then continue back on my set just the same way as I would in the gym, performing a strip set, dropping down the weights. Except here, it's much quicker, it's more efficient, and I can keep that tension 
on the muscle for longer. So great exercise, especially with the bands there. This happens to be another great exercise for the back and what we're basically doing here is replicating the lat pull down on a machine or cables typically in the gym. So the same setup as the first warm up movement here. My hands are within the band and then I'm holding on to the outside with an overhand grip. Keep my back straight, long arms, and then I'm pulling the band down towards my upper chest, spreading my hands a little bit and driving my elbows close towards the side of my body. This one I find gives a really good stretch and some decent resistance in the back. So the higher I move my hands, the more resistance I'm pulling down. I'm gonna drop it down on the floor for this one and perform some banded supermans. Now banded supermans, you might not think have their place in the gym if you're used to doing regular uh, dumbbell, barbell work, but let me tell you, the way we have this band stretched out, raising our heels and our hands off the floor at the same time, exhaling as we do, keeping the core tight, you definitely feel it in the lower back region. So keep this one smooth, keep it fluid, and keep it controlled. Exhaling as we lift up, inhaling through the nose as we lower back down. Our final one for back, and this one probably has to be the closest related movement that we can perform with bands to the same ones that we would do in the gym. It's basically a bent over row, and what's great about this is I can widen or narrow my stance to increase or decrease the amount of resistance with the bands. So once again, making the bands really great at being able to perform strip sets or drop sets by either lessening the amount of resistance or just like you see here, I'm now performing it on one foot, palms upwards. I'm not rotating the hands here because that wouldn't give me any extra benefit with the resistance bands as opposed to a dumbbell. So with a lot of these movements, we're basically simplifying the same movements that we would be performing in the gym. Your focus then should purely be on the contraction in the muscle and the quality of the movement. So don't rush these. If you feel like it's too light, maybe slow it down, focus more on endurance, add some more time. If it's too heavy, find a way to lessen that resistance so that you're not breaking away from your form. Another one for the biceps here. And what I've done here is taken one of the handles off the tubular bands and attached it to the resistance band. So a lot firmer resistance there and I'm mimicking a high cable pull here. Only difference being unlike a cable that has consistent tension throughout the full range of motion, this band gives me all of that tension just towards that higher peak in the bicep curl. Our final exercise for bicep, I have a loop band around the upper arms, kind of like a tourniquet, but this also helps me from flaring out my arms. So this mimics the movement that I would do in the gym for a preacher curl using the resistance band and just wrapping that around a sturdy fixed vertical pole. I love this one. So there we have it. Whether you perform these as straight sets and reps, or you perform it timed or as a circuit, this is entirely up to you. We've got four more videos addressing chest and triceps, legs, shoulders and abs, and a full body, head to toe, circuit conditioning workout as well. So be sure to check them out. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that notifications bell. Leave a comment below if you give this workout a try. Let us know your best time for completing at least one circuit. And if you have any more suggestions, let us know in the comments below. Stay safe, wash your hands, practice social distancing. We'll get through this. We'll be back in the gym in no time. Take care. I'll see you all soon. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm uh, currently working on some programming for my next app, 640 Train. Name 640 because there's about 640 muscles in the body and this app will literally embody all of my programming from your usual workouts in the gym, including cardio, weight loss, abs, as well as at-home workouts and minimal equipment, which is what I'm working on now. So this app is currently available in the App Store for iOS, so if you have an iPhone, click on the link in my description, go download the app, and we're gonna have an exclusive program available for those who pre-order during this month. So go check it out, and we've got a ton more programs coming soon, so take care, see you soon.